A common question that I get from my iPad engineering review video is, should I get a laptop or a tablet as an engineering student? I'm going to tell you straight, right now, you should prioritize getting a laptop over an iPad and you should treat an iPad just as a complimentary device. For the rest of the video, I'm going to explain why you should prioritize getting a laptop over an iPad. I'll also be giving you insights to the kind of work you should be expecting to do at university and why you might consider getting an iPad after you get your laptop. Consider subscribing if this is the second or third time you see my channel. I talk about engineering, I give study advice and right now I'm kind of recording my experiences as I try figure things out in life. So if that's interesting to you, Yo, consider subscribing. <laughs> there are two main reasons why you should prioritize getting a laptop over an iPad. The first one is by far the biggest reason. As engineers, we need specialist software for coding and for CAD. I studied mechatronics and robotics and I did a lot of programming in C, uh, Arduino programming, I did a bit of C++. I did a lot of MATLAB as well. In the second year, I also used uh, Fusion 360. So what does this mean for you? Well, I can tell you, if you're an engineer in the UK, you are most likely going to be coding or using CAD software in your university, which pretty much makes owning a laptop a must. Everyone in my course had either a Windows laptop or a MacBook, and we all managed to do the same work just fine. We all did the assignments well. And yeah, so just pretty much go with what you prefer. The next biggest reason is group work. I cannot stress to you the amount of group work you've got to do and you will do in university. I'm telling you, you're going to be doing so many cool projects. Oh, in my opinion, cool anyway. And oh, you'll be having a fun time with your course mates. As I said, you'll be coding a lot in university. But in addition to that, you'll be doing a lot of writing. Everyone in my course had to write technical and individual reports. We also had to do uh, software documentation, which include client requirements, um, hardware and software designs, our test plan, what we did for testing, our final report. We also had to respond to feedback. You also got to do presentations. You'll be presenting your product or your projects or your assignments in front of your lecturers. And for me in first year and in second year, we actually had to tackle uh, an engineering problem, a real world engineering, pro uh, engineering problem for the in the global engineering challenge and the engineering you're hired challenge. So yeah everyone in my group we all had laptops for that. throughout my degree we used google services like google docs uh, google slides to make our presentations or sometimes we used the microsoft services so microsoft word excel powerpoint it depends on your preferences and what the university offers for you, you. could use those apps on an ipad but it's just not well optimized on the ipad i've tried you have to do more clicking there's more pop-ups and uh, it's, it's just not efficient and it's just kind of a headache, not gonna lie. Whereas on a laptop, it just takes a few clicks and it's so easy to edit documents and you can see who's online and it's just a lot better on the laptop. So in machine learning terms, yeah, um, having specialized software for coding and for CAD work and also group work make up the bulk of the reason why you should be getting a laptop over an iPad as an engineering student. Now I want to talk about the iPad. I actually spent a lot of time on my iPad throughout the second semester when I bought my iPad and throughout the um, third year because during those times that's when uh, the work was a lot more theoretical which means I had to absorb a lot more lecture content um, I had to do more tutorial sheets and I, I, and I use the iPad as a note-taking device. And overall, it just helps me with my memory retention and maximizes my learning. You can think of an iPad as a poker pad, literally on steroids, and that's pretty much it. Now for some important considerations. You need to remember, at the end of the day, an iPad is just a tablet. To an extent, an iPad could replace a laptop, but for us engineering students, that just ain't the case. I recommend getting an iPad once you first bought 
your laptop as I said in the beginning of the video however don't get it twisted to think that you need an iPad for university because you absolutely do not I'm aware that there are loads of videos on YouTube where people are sharing their positive experiences of the iPad but I also know many people from my degree yeah my cohort who don't have iPads yeah and who performed much better than me in the exams and were able to encapsulate the concepts much better like all because you have a tool the iPad doesn't mean you've solved all your student problems it kind of either amplifies your current study habits so if they're if you're procrastinating yeah the iPad will make you a better procrastinator if you are productive if you're all this and that yeah you'll become a, a better productive person it can go either way and it's up to you the person to make the most out of the tool so in conclusion us engineers right we need a device that can handle the complexity of the work we are doing such as coding and for group assignments while simultaneously that device is able to do those things as efficiently as possible and in the case for us engineering students we either need that powerful pc or that laptop in order to do those intensive tasks and an ipad like i said it's just a complementary device to enhance our note-taking experience so, so, little life update, yeah? I think in a previous video I said that I have a list of things that I think I want to do and I think I've come to the conclusion that I might spend this year as a sort of productive gap year. Um, I'm also going to try and get my driver's license this year. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to pretty much have a look at the list that I'm interested in, in terms of like career-wise, and then I'm just going to hustle down um, and just try out those skills in my own time and yeah it just feels like I'm moving forward with my life which is pretty mad to say <laughs> uh, but honestly it is huge help to the people that I've been speaking to the past week and in past month actually I hope you're also able to make progress uh, throughout the weeks and you know let's move let's move forward together <laughs> oh I'm excited I'm excited <laughs>